All right. Welcome to the best day of the week. Look how like less bummy I look. I got a haircut, finally. I've been saying this for forever. But cool thing, cool thing. Oh, sorry, that's Gerard. Oh, and that's mini me. I forgot to show, I've never showed you guys this. Mini me was made when I was very young. I don't know why I still have it. This is Gerard. He's cool. He even has like a, a G for Gerard necklace. But yeah, he's like cool as fuck. But let me show you. Hold up, let me turn this guy. All right, you see that? Cold plunge. Got a cold plunge. Fucking, looks like a little $120 fucking insulated cold plunge thing. I don't know how to describe it. But about a year ago, when it was cold, I went to Home Depot and got a little, like a tub. It was just like a storage container. And that's what I used. I like slightly was too big for it, but it worked. Um, and then I did a whole series like this, day whatever of uh, ice baths. And it was a YouTube shorts, different YouTube channel, nah, whatever. But and that's, hey, I know I copied Sam Saw like a little bit, but I also did the day blank series before him. Just ice baths a year ago. <laughs> so like, you know what I mean? Um, but uh, I think I'm just going to start the videos for now on and a cold plunge. That's a great way for viewer retention, right? See me suffer for like two minutes. Because you only have to do two minutes, like a day, according to Andrew Huberman. It was like maybe six days a week, I don't remember. But it was, I did it every day. But um, helps lose weight, blah, 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 you know, good health benefits. I'm not even doing it for the health benefits. I'm doing it for the mental aspect of, excuse me, I just ate. Um, the mental aspects of discipline and shit like that, you know what I mean? It helps you out. But, um, yeah, that's why I'm doing it. And, it's, you know, I'm going to recover better, blah, blah, blah mental sharpening nah, I need to brush up on what the benefits of uh, ice baths are but we'll figure it out but um all right but first meal pop up on the screen right now um, it's just a fuck ton of eggs and um, bagel cheese a little bit of butter just be like there's there's about 75 grams of protein not a hundred percent sure how much but um, I uh, I really I haven't eaten much today, and I'm like now on break from work, so by much I literally mean nothing. <laughs> I had a Gatorade, but uh, so 75 grams of protein because I'm catching up a little bit. Bagel because of carbs, cheese, shit like that. Get the energy in there so that I can uh, have a good workout because it's chest day, best day of the week. But um, I really got to get back to work. I'm on break right now. So I will see you then. I didn't set the timer. Fuck. It's getting all over my phone. No, why are you opening up Instagram? Fuck, I didn't bring my towel. Oh my God, this whole thing is going wrong. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Fuck. Okay. Okay, um. I haven't, uh, oh. I'm so stupid. I forgot my towel and I've got this at the timer and I don't know where to put this 
fucking mic. So I'm holding it currently. And... <sighs> I'm gonna try my best to make it an accurate two minutes. But, uh... I would usually put my hands in. But... I have things in them. I can't even swipe out of fucking Instagram. Oh, I can. Finally. Oh, no. Stop clicking buttons. Okay. Just gonna go off the phone time. Oh, my God. For you guys that don't know, it's fucking winter time. Later videos, I'm gonna, you know, go up to my shoulders. You don't want to put your, like, a lot of people put their head in instantly. You don't want to do that. I'm not no science major, but as Angie Huberman explained it, it does something with your brain to where you can deal better with stress. So if you're gonna put your, if you're gonna, <laughs> fuck, if you put your head in, the water make sure you do it at the end because if you do it in the beginning it will make the whole thing easier and we're going for that mental fortitude I'm gonna do I'm gonna make sure that it's at least two minutes I can't see the timer on the screen but Yeah, I'm just gonna make sure. <clears throat> I guess starting off strong day one at least two and a half minutes I think because it was 10.39 now it's when I first started now it's 10.42 you know I just go oh, okay. there we go 10.43 confirmed oh it's been at least two minutes <sighs> Welcome to the best day of the week, chest day. I hope you guys enjoyed the little ice bath scene. I'm gonna be doing ice baths every day, back on the ice bath grind. Since it's cold, you know, I might as well be doing it. Hopefully that, like, the ice bath that I got will insulate the, the water and keep it cold even during the summer. But if like worse comes to worse, I just have to refill it every day. So not that bad, not a big deal. But hopefully maybe in the future, like if we make money off this, like decent money, fucking get like one of those expensive cold plunges. They're like $2,500, but it's like a actual tub. You know what I mean? But I mean, that would be cool. But first two meals of the day, got some eggs. I was running out of the house. So, I just put in the to-go container. Well, bam Ground beef, onions. What else was in there? I think it's just that. Thank you, Mama, for making this. Um, I think she said this was 100 grams of protein worth of ground beef. So, with those two things, we are at 150 grams of protein off the bat only problem no carbs probably need more carbs and by probably i mean 100 percent need more carbs but um yeah that's it for the first two meals three you know because three meals worth of protein 
But uh, yeah, that's it for that. I will see you at probably the workout, but I hope me getting some type of carb source. Some carbs are definitely in need, especially if I want to have a dummy chest pump and get some, have my optimal strength for chest day. You know what I mean? For the best day of the week, why would I not want to perform? <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll see you then. All right, hopping straight into the chest workout. No game plan. Like I'm not gonna talk about like what we're gonna be doing. I'm just gonna show it as we go because it's like, I don't know, my workouts are pretty consistent. I don't really change them up that much. So, not much to talk about. It's just the same as usual. Especially my chest days. They rarely change, because I feel like I just have it down, you know? And I think that comes with it being my favorite day. So, I actually put more emphasis into it throughout the years, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah. Three sets, three sets for everything. Trying this, you can do any amount of sets that you want between, I think it was six to 20. Like, there's not that many, uh, it's not too much of a difference whenever you do anything inside that range. You know what I mean? It just is individual, mostly. Do whatever is best for you. Try more volume. If you start seeing more gains after a handful of months, probably stick with that volume. If you don't, change the volume. Maybe lower it, whatever you want to do. But uh, the wrist is starting to feel better. I'm able to do my like actual arm day and shit. So within a handful of chest days, I'm thinking about like actually pushing the weight. I don't know if I can though because I'm currently cutting. Like I'm 15 pounds of body weight down from the peak bulk. I was 205, now I was like 190 and a half today. You know, of the 15, I would say probably five of it's water. So I probably lost about 10 pounds so far. And I've been cutting for like what, three weeks now, around there. So someone just said like, good job or whatever. I have no clue who this bitch is. Thank you for the encouragement, I guess. But um, that was rude. Thank you to her. <laughs> but um, what is it? What was I talking about? Oh, I'm going to start pushing a little bit more weight. But since I'm lighter now, 15, 15 in quotes, pounds, lighter. I'm not sure if trying to push the weight would be a great idea right now. You know what I mean? I'm probably gonna try and adjust the new strength and then go from there. We'll figure out where I am. The, uh, what's it called? Oh, I had a good point I was gonna talk about. I hope it pops back in my head. But uh, yeah, let's just get this fucking set done. Enough yapping.
Definition that's coming out is crazy. It sucks that I'm so flat. Oh, I hope you guys could hear that. I'm pretty sure you can. You know, definition is going crazy. Um, it's just the pumps. You know, bulk pumps versus cut pumps are different things. It sucks. I mean, obviously, I could have made this a good pump if I was just more on top of my carbs and I took baking soda. But can't fix that so we're not gonna even think about it doesn't stop me from getting a good workout
cable flies. Only bad thing about this gym is that it's smaller, so less machines. I don't have the ability to do the uh, back supported uh, flies. So a little unfortunate. That was one of my favorite exercises, but we can deal with uh, just some regular flies. I don't think I can do flies with this person doing RDLs right next to me, actually. Let's see if she uh, gets the hint. She did. This is a superset that I totally forgot about until today, but um, is it a superset? I guess it's a superset. Um, but doing regular flies out here and then coming back and then doing this. I was bending over a little more than I should have. It's because I haven't done it in a minute, but it's just something that I uh, learned from Seth Ferrosi. For any of you guys that don't know him, old professional bodybuilder. Dude's fucking massive, or at least was. He still is, but still massive. But uh, how he explained it was when you're doing the flies, you're basically going through the poses that you're working through, working on. So we're doing the crab most muscular here, and then we're backing up and doing the like hands clasped, most muscular. So bam, so going from here, crab to here, hands clasped. Just a little something to think about. Everybody what up big man, how you doing? fucking lower chest is covered by this tank. I fucking feel like I have an Arnold chest, bro. Crazy looking. Oh. <sighs> 
Exercise for the whole workout. Super simple. Just some lateral raises. Five sets because I, don't know, I, I hit my side belts on my chest day. I don't have like a designated shoulder day. I'm considering to throw it back in. Just I don't know, have some bigger delts. Like they're, they're pretty proportionate to the rest of my body. So I don't want them to be like crazy big. But like maybe like a tad bit bigger would be nice. I don't know, I'm just playing around with the idea. I like I like what I do currently, where I hit side delts on chest day, rear delts on back day, completely ignore front delt, because literally every single time that you do a pushing movement, your front delts are being used. And I go pretty like hard and heavy usually, whenever I'm not injured, you know, bulk up shit like that. So I don't really think having front delts is really necessary. I'd rather put another rear delt in there because who doesn't need more rear delts, you know what I mean? But uh, side delts, only doing five. Yes, I know that uh, you're supposed to have, like, the I go for eight sets per muscle group. You need six to 20 or 30. It was 20 or 30. No, it's 20, definitely 20. Six to 20 sets per muscle. Like I was saying in the beginning, the, the first exercise, it just varies for everyone. But I feel like when I was doing high volume, like I was doing uh, probably like about 15 sets per uh, muscle group at one point. And when I was doing that, this was several years ago, so I, I don't know if it's from lack of food or the 15 sets. I think it was both, but I literally stayed the same exact weight for probably a year and a half because I was doing so much volume. Not really, like, I had rest days, I'm pretty sure. At some points I, weren't, I wasn't taking rest days, but I feel like I was just overworking the muscles. And it was like 99% to failure, or what I thought failure was at the time. So I don't have an accurate measure of what it actually was. But what I thought at the time was failure, I was basically there. You know what I mean? I was doing hella cheat reps, shit like that. And I think I was just overworking the muscles because it stayed the same exact weight. Maybe, like, I got a little bit leaner throughout that year and a half. Maybe my body fat percentage dropped like two, three percent or some shit like that. Um, but I stayed the same way. So, not ideal. But uh, yeah, ever since I've dropped the amount of sets to like eight to 10-ish, it's been good. Especially in like on back days. On back days, I can really tell like after eight hard sets, like maybe even less. I might need to do like less on back, I don't know. But um, after like eight hard sets, I'm dead. 
like and my muscles just don't work the same you know what I mean it's not that I um, like they were tired or whatever I don't know it's not like I was just motivationally drained it was legit like I could just feel the difference in my back training past a certain point uh, in a way of like the muscle is trying to tell me hey you should take a fucking break because even though I'm not a huge fan of like the Mike Menser training where he only does like three sets total or some some fucking shit I don't remember what it was but like it's some crazy low ass volume even though I don't necessarily agree with it and I feel like it's overhyped like everyone's just talking about Mike Menser all of a sudden um yeah, even though I think it's overhyped, I understand why it would work. Because if you think about what we did whenever we were like cavemen and shit like that, or you know, a lot of, around that time before modern shit happened, um, it was probably short windows of all out intensity, you know, kill that woolly mammoth or whatever the fuck, you know what I mean? And then they don't do anything. They're just, they, they try and conserve energy because calories are energy and they don't know when their next meal is going to come, you know what I mean? And I feel like if people evolve that way, why the fuck would we need hell evolve? you know what I mean? But do I think two or three sets or whatever the fuck Mike Menser does is optimal? No. Is he way more intelligent than me? Well, I guess intelligent is broad. He knows more academically than me. Maybe not the smartest because the dude would use fucking heroin or, I mean, no, meth as a fucking pre-working. That's why he died at like 49 or whatever the fuck. So, being smart is a scale, I guess. <laughs> but, um, yeah, he knows way more than me. He was sp screwed out of an Olympia through politics, essentially. So, he definitely knows more than me, you know? But, for me, I just can't get behind the uh, three sets or whatever the fuck it is. But, uh, enough yapping. Let's get into this fucking, the set. I'm only gonna show uh, two of them, but I'm hitting five.
Other poses there. Oh yeah, back shots. Pause. <laughs> Not back shots, but you know, back shots. You know what I mean. Ow! I just fucking popped everything in my back from that sneeze. All right, ignore that it's probably kind of loud in the mic because I'm currently driving on the highway. But before I get into my next meal, 
I just wanted to talk about something that I've been thinking about. Today I've been thinking about, I'm like, what are the main things that got me to the physique that I have? And I think it comes down to three main things. Habits, routine, and then doing the proper things for your goal. I'm gonna start with doing the right things for your goal. And it's gonna also tie into essentially education. Um, I know, I, I knew this dude, not gonna call him out because um, some of his friends might watch the video, but um, dude was working out every day, like close to every day for three years and he was still pretty fucking small. And I think it just came down to education. I asked him, do you watch any fitness content or anything like that? And he said, no. And I could tell by the way that he trained that obviously he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing because, I mean, he's small and I just watched him train. Like, dude, I was like, what's your max squat? Or, I mean, like, what do you squat for your set? And he's like, 375. And I go over the watch's set of squats. They're less than quarter reps. I was like, okay. Drop the fucking weight, idiot. Like, why? You, obviously you can't do this weight. So, a lot of people simply do not know what they need to do. So, you need to stop being ignorant and stop, I mean, and start getting educated. You need, like, it, this shit is a never ending cycle of learning. And if you are not learning, you have, like, you're not gonna know what the fuck to do. And even if you're advanced like me, you're gonna hit a wall because you don't know what the next missing step is. That's something that, that happened to me. Like, I didn't know what I needed to do and I kind of plateaued. I stayed at the same, um, like, the same weight and shit like that. I didn't know what I needed to do. So, get educated, learn. My first four, the reason I stopped learning is because my first three to four years, every single piece of content that I watched was bodybuilding, not fitness, bodybuilding, getting big. And then once I got to a point, I, I was like, I was a fucking arrogant ass motherfucker. And I thought I knew everything. And then I plateaued because I was literally not watching any fitness content. Yeah, you need to learn what the fuck you're doing so you can progress. If you are not, it, it, you're putting no effort into into the goal past a certain point if you are not um, self-educating. If you're just doing the same thing over and over, not seeing results, and you're like, okay, I'm just gonna keep doing it, you're stupid. Alex Hermosi, you know, soon to be billionaire, you probably know him, he's an entrepreneur. Um, he defined learning as the ability to adapt to the same situation. Yeah, he, he said, if I hold up a red card and then I slap you and you go, whoa. And then I hold up the red card again and I slap you and you go, whoa. But then I hold the red card up again for the third time and then I, and then I slap and you duck, you learn. If it takes you 10 red cards to learn that I'm gonna slap you, you are not as smart as the person who ducked on the second or third time. That's learning, it's your rate of learning. So if you're doing the same thing over and over and you're seeing the same results and you've been doing it for a long period of time, by that definition, you are stupid. Not to call you out, but like, you know what I mean? It's not personal. I don't even know who I'm talking to currently. Other than my favorite fan, my favorite person right there, I know who I'm talking about.
I mean, I know who I'm talking to right now. Um, <laughs> that's the one that pisses me off because people ex expect to make progress when they don't know shit. Other two, habits and routine. We're gonna go with habits. Habits. If you binge eat, that's a bad habit. You need to build up a habit of eating healthy. If you build up a habit of skipping your workout here and there, that's a bad habit. You need to do your workout. If you build up a habit of uh, not getting the proper amount of protein in, that's a bad habit. You need to get more protein. It's not, it's essentially changing your priorities. Um, because if your priority is eating chocolate, you're gonna stay fat, you know what I mean? So build good habits outside of the gym, like your water intake, going to sleep on time, uh, getting the proper nutrition in, um, you know, shit like that. I could make more if I just wasn't put on the spot <laughs> and I was trying to, uh, excuse me, and I was like actually thinking about it and writing down whatever. And then routine. Probably the most important thing, period. Without routine, you are going in there blind and you don't know what the, like it's, you don't know if what you did last week was the thing that made you grow because you change it up all the fucking time. You, under, you understand what I mean? So it's the person that without a doubt, for sure, goes to the gym every day well not every day according to the schedule according to their routine and those are the people that make the most amount of progress the person that shows up every day will beat the person who is genetically gifted knows everything but shows up half the time strictly just out of pure quantity and if you build that routine and you stick to it and you don't vary from it, you will get jacked. Or in terms of whatever you want to apply this to, because I feel like those three things can um, work for anything, especially the routine. Because if you put a certain amount of effort in, the required effort with the knowledge that I was talking about for your goal every day and you just don't stop, you will get there eventually. Some people it's going to take longer. Some people are genetically blessed and are meant for that certain thing and they are going to get there quicker than you. But if that genetically blessed person quits even 20 years later, after 25, 30 years, you are winning. You understand what I mean? Routine, consistency. Do the required amount of work every day and you will get whatever you are looking for. Because, at least for me, there's never been something that I want and I have put a required amount, the required amount of effort in every day for a long period of time that I haven't gotten. You do this with school. You showed up enough to not fail every day for 12 years and well 13 years plus kindergarten you and then you you get out of high school i just dropped my phone 
hold up, pause. You, you do the required amount of work every day. You f give your homework. Like you do your homework, you give it to the teacher, you study enough to be able to pass the tests, and then you graduate. Like, you know, you do that enough times, and then you graduate. You go to the gym every day, not every day, but you know what I mean. Every day, you eat your, amount of pro, uh, your certain amount of protein every day. You get your eight hours of sleep every day. You get your water intake every day. You're on top of your, your uh, hydration every day. You build up that routine, the good habits, and then tell me you won't get jacked. I have never seen someone eat right, go to the gym every day, work hard, push themselves, and then not get jacked. It's impossible, literally impossible. I don't give a, oh, those motherfuckers, bruh. The people that say, oh, it's not their, it's not their fault, they're fat. They are genetically, uh, like they genetically can't lose weight. I don't even believe, like, okay, first off, that's the .01% of people. But second off, I don't think that's fucking true. I think it's 0% of people, and it's just cope. It's copium. Because don't you think that would be a fantastic genetic ability back when we would starve? You're telling me you can't lose weight if you don't eat? What type of fucking dumb ass shit is that? Those people are uneducated. They don't understand that the laws of thermodynamics apply to everyone. For, for anyone that doesn't know law of thermodynamics, essentially for our bodybuilding and fitness goals is essentially, you know, a calorie in, calorie out. You know, you eat, you eat more than your... Uh, your required amount of calories, you gain weight, you uh, eat less than your required amount of calories, you lose weight. Uh, that's es essentially it. You can go search up the nerd version, but whatever, it won't matter. Is it, does it really apply? <laughs> yeah, so those motherfuckers that say, I can't, like, I have a fast, but we're gonna flip it. I have a fast metabolism, I can't, gain weight okay so you're telling me that your metabolism is so fast that if you doubled the amount of food that you had you wouldn't gain weight idiot you don't have a fast metabolism first off let's get this right I, yes metabolisms vary like it but most of the time it's not metabolism, it is how hungry you get. But yes, people have more fat stores or whatever, but even then, the people that have more fat stores, it's usually because you were overfed by your shitty parents so much that you, like at early childhood, that you now have those fat stores. But even then, guess what? If you eat less than you burn, you will lose weight. It's that simple. The, if, like, oh, like I was saying, I don't think I'd finish this point because I'm just, like, talking whatever comes out of my head. Um, like, it's, your, your metabolism, it's usually not metabolism. It's your, how hungry you get. Everyone has like different hunger signals. Some people get hungrier than others. The people, every, every single person that says, I do not gain weight. And they look like a fucking twig. I look at their diet and it's fucking trash. It is no calories whatsoever. I had Listen, this dude talking about I need to gain weight and then I see what food he's eating guess what like and he's saying I can't gain weight guess what food he was eating literally the most bitch made food 
like he was eating like a fucking rabbit. It was spinach and raisins. How the fuck do you expect to gain weight off of that shit? But like, you know, he gets full. He gets full off of a little bit of spinach and raisins. That motherfucker needs to pick up the fork and either start force feeding healthy foods or, you know, start the what I was doing when I was um, in my bulk. Pick up the chocolate milk, pick up the, the chicken tenders, pick up the McDonald's, and that motherfucker would have gained weight. 100%. It's like impossible. Um, the people that fucking... The, the people that are usually obese, it's a tad bit different. It's because they usually are so... On, well, a mix of uh, they eat too much and a mix of uneducated. They don't understand what they're eating is a, is a fuck ton of calories. That's why you see fat people, they say, but I really didn't eat that much today. Yeah, but if you eat only a pizza, let's say you're, a, you're supposed to be a 120 pound girl, but you eat an extra large pizza with all the fucking extra fixings and all that shit. And let's say it's fucking 2,000 calories, but you need 1,200 calories. You could go through that pizza pretty easily or whatever. But in your mind, you're like, I just had a pizza. That's it. I've only had one meal today. Oh my God, I can't lose weight. I've only eaten once today. Why am I not losing weight? Because that fucking pizza is too many calories. You know what I mean? It's that simple. You need to get educated. You need to have a routine. And you need to have a list of healthy habits that you do every day. It's that simple. You will get your goal 100% if you do all those three. But now that I've roasted you for 20 minutes, let's, uh, let's show the next meal. 42 grams of protein, protein shake. And I wanted some extra calories because I'm dropping weight way too quickly. Got an orange juice that has 440 calories along with vitamin C. Does Tropicana even have vitamin C? I bet it's some bullshit. I bet it's not even real ass juice. So whatever. But, um, and then I was told where I'm going, where I just parked actually, has pizza. So I'm gonna have like a solid little, like, two pieces of pizza. That enough calories. I might even need to have three or four. I, pro I probably need like half a pizza to not fucking just drop weight like a motherfucker, but I don't know, putting all that garbage food in me, not it. Um, I don't know how much protein is in that pizza. I know there's a decent amount of protein in like a full pizza because you know, all that cheese and meat, depending on what you get. But uh, I'm not even counting that as protein. I have my protein for today. I only need 190 because I'm at 190 pounds today and I'm still gonna get 200 because, I don't know, it just makes me feel better to get over the amount of protein that I need. But yeah, that's essentially it. So, thank you so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow for back.